All right, well, welcome back. Still, uh, of course, playing Life is Strange uh, 2, episode 2, and we are still at our grandparents' house, and we actually, uh, last time we got the tie-in scene to the other game, uh, The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. So now uh, Daniel and um, Chris, yeah, that was his name, uh, became friends. So now we have to go over there, um, and I guess figure out what's going on with them. Because we did tell Daniel, hey, like, you know, lay low, don't go over there. But unfortunately, he went ahead and did that. So now we have to uh, to play Big Brother and uh, see what we got. Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericans. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Yeah, where'd they go? Well, looks like I'm home alone. Oh, a note. What's it say? Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. It says, morning. Uh, we'll let you sleep in today while we're at church. Back by noon. See you in a bit. We just tied up everything, so no rough housing. Okay, sure, we won't. Maybe I could use Steven's laptop. It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. Mm, we probably shouldn't, because they did say not to do it, and we don't want to mm, compromise anything, so let's just leave the house. You know, I at least know, you know, we're basically fugitives on the run. I know how to lay low. Okay, let's get this Brack back home now. Oh, look, and there's, I guess, his footprints. All right. It's a lot of snow, man. Dang. Yeah, this is definitely, like, a main road. Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Yeah, it's a lot of snow. Why do I care about the recycling bin? Let's just barge in. Okay. Daniel, what's going on here? Sean, wait! Don't freak out. I can't explain. Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things, objects. With my mind. Oh, a superpower. Really? Yes. We'll play, we'll, well, we'll play along. We'll play along. Yeah. That's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret. Captain Ooh. Spirit. Throwing now shade. You're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a team signal. Totally. I'm gonna be Super Wolf. What's your super name, Sean? Do I get to pick one? Eh. Uh... Uh, mm, eh, uh, none of these are good. These are all like awkward, I guess. Uh, whatever. We'll go with that one. I don't one. know. Something cool like El Diezblo Loco. Mm, sounds like a super villain's name, but hey, man, don't okay. judge. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah. They share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along, too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations! And Sean, 
we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Yeah, with the nine dollars that I have? Sure, okay. Uh, okay, do we go or not? I mean, they'll worry if we're gone, but they will be gone for like a couple hours, so uh, let's just be um, quick about it. Okay, sure. I'll go with you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah! Cool. Yeah, I just wish Chris and Daniel were excited about going. Okay, team. Awkward I, joke, but all right. Give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. In the bathroom? I'm glad you're coming, too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score. The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spirit's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. Yeah, probably. Let's see. Um. All right. Yeah, that's definitely the villain. Uh, that's gonna Look be closely. Like. Oh, hey, are they on his T-shirt? Maybe. Right, there was one on the t-shirt, okay. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? Uh. Interesting. Uh, the dinosaur, the car was a you villain. sure? And I think... Oh, I have no idea. Okay. okay. How did I do? Not bad. You're almost right. It was a bit tricky. Okay, let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer. But he's out in the garden. Captain Spirit kind of took care of him. He might need a little surgery now. But they're all oh, working right. for Mantroy, who is the real super villain. You should see his evil planet. Why doesn't Captain Spirit stop him? He tried, but failed. That's why he needs Super Wolf. You know, Daniel, to prevent Mantroid from hurting other people. <laughs> yeah. Strength in numbers. Oh. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait I until he that, sees uh, what Captain Spirit can do now. I thought we took care yeah. of that in the other game. About that. But okay. Uh, your father knows and not afraid. Uh, mm, mm, uh, Aren't know. you afraid? Maybe it's not a good idea to disclose all your powers like this. That Mantroid guy could be watching you, you know? Even better. So he'll know he better stay away from us. Anyway, you shouldn't let anyone Flawless know logic. about this. Not even your father. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Oh, yeah, that's right, because Dad's uh, an alcoholic. Um, hmm. Do we talk about family issues, or do we... Uh, whatever, Chris, sure. It's... None of my business, but are you and your dad okay? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. Um, Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Claire's always worried. We're cool. Totally. He's just. He yeah, he's an alcoholic. We found that out in another game. Has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Well. I can understand that. But I hope you know you're not alone. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power. And I have Daniel. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's roll. All right, so all we gotta do 
is we just gotta hurry up and we'll be back just catching another cold you know, no, real quick. I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Yeah, it's like the hint, hint, nudge, Make nudge. Sure don't mess anything up. Snow from the porch. You're, you're awesome. You're welcome, Dad. Oh, jeez. It's a real bumpy uh, area there, my god. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know if this was the best decision or not to uh, go along for the ride, but we're going to find out. I hope it should be. I think it should be fine. We're going to go. We're just getting a Christmas tree. It's going to be real quick, and then we're going to be back before I even know. It'll be great. I'm sure this is another section where there would be copyright music. Or maybe not, I don't know. Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. Oh boy. All right. So, protected or stop lying? Um. No, we gotta keep. We gotta keep up the ruse. We can't. Uh, yeah, we can't let this get out. I think that's what we're gonna go for. Listen, I understand, but we have to be extra careful out here. You can't let people see you. You know the rules. Yes. I know the rules, but I'm careful. I only do things when it's me and Chris. Nobody sees us. Yeah, nobody but me. What if it was Chris's dad, or grandma, or a cop, or... Okay, okay, I get it, but I'm careful. That's not enough. You have to be extra, extra careful. All right, I swear I will. Deal. Uh. He's gonna mess this up for us, isn't he? You and I know. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Wow! So many trees! Now we're gonna do find Daniel a Christmas present. Oh, okay, we can do that. It's not too difficult. They look like giant cocoons. Tree. Oh, yeah. Care spray? Oh, it's for your tree, I guess. Okay. Mm. I bet Dad didn't know about you coming, Sean? Don't worry. That's be around. kind of cool. Okay. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing. I'll tell you later. So, what do we do? We have to pick the one we like. Can Daniel help Dad? All good. Quiet morning as usual. Good. Hmm. Tell me if you need anything, okay? Uh, sure. I'm fine for now. Oh, here we go. Oh, some, Don't worry. some gifts. Okay. How much money do we have in our wallet? We have $9. We only and sell handmade local products. Come $9.03. That's $30. That's way more than we got. Um, hmm. Ooh, some hot cider. That looks good. Uh, let's get him... We're gonna have to spring for like the five dollar one. I think it's definitely uh, nine dollars and three cents. All right. Well, obviously we can't get the wooden beaver or the, the bear because that's ten dollars. Um, the little 
Sitting bear for seven. That's I feel like you we won't find better deals out. in Beaver Creek. Wait, that thing is seven dollars, but the snowman is five dollars. All right, let's get the five dollar one. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. How do we pick one? We can put back, but like, wait. Hold on, pick one. Can I just look? Okay, I looked. You won't find better deals in Beaver Creek. <laughs> wait a minute, what? why not? Hey, whoa, where, whoa, where'd you come from? All right, let's talk to this about Hey, hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Uh, uh the Reynolds? Everybody knows Stephen. He was Beaver Creek's fire chief years ago. Uh, you're not his grandson, are you? Yes. I am. Oh, that's great. He told me about you, but um, that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. It's yes. been a few years, right? Getting yeah. real awkward. Family stuff. I bet. Anyway, uh, look around, and if you find anything you want, I'll give you the special Reynolds discount. Oh, that's exciting. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. So if we get a discount, heck yeah, we can get this wooden beaver for nine dollars. Yeah. How do we buy it? Like, like that's it. You won't find better deals in Beaver Creek. Oh, ha. That's hey, for you. Can I have one of these beavers? The tiny ones. Yep. They're made by our beloved carpenter, Rose. And, of course, you get the friendly price to celebrate the Reynolds reunion. Oh, that's really cool. Thanks. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. That was a very awkward interaction. Cool. Mission accomplished. Okay, but now what do we gotta do? We gotta find Chris at Martin. Okay. Before Claire and Steven come back. Yeah, definitely. Why is there just a oh it's helium. Okay, jeez. I thought that was uh I thought that was a like a tank of propane. I was like, why is there just a blood tank of propane? Found what you were looking for? Oh, who are City you? Boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. You <laughs> bought your brother something out here. Damn. Poor kid. Rude. Sorry. I'm just a grumpy old gal. Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. Now we are. Kinda. That sounds... complicated. Trauma? Yeah. Lots. Huh. Yeah, I hear that. Way too much. What about you and... your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Uh, I mean, sounds dangerous, yeah. right? That sounds kind of dangerous. <laughs> Not really. If you can run and jump, you're pretty much good to go. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but 
Well, you've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We picked the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? <laughs> oh, oh my god, that's rude. Your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Mm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Yeah, I was gonna say, a dog does not look good. Most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks! Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You Why are these people so distance, weird? Dude. Um, uh... Hey, never too careful. Who knows what may crawl out of the air? <laughs> oh, the froze joined forces! You're already perverting him. Finn. Sorry. I know suburban boys is your thing. That's Are weird. You kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. Weird Doggy folk. was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Uh -oh. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Oh, God damn Too it. many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Oh, God. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is no. illegal, too. Obviously, they and would you find you. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. My dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. Hey, he doesn't look very you good at all. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> Why you gotta be rude, man? <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Damn. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. No, why? What? Uh, prank him or just, just drop it? No. Better not get involved, man. This guy doesn't look nice. You're right. They're pretty. Okay, so now so cool. we're uh, How do I look, Sean? <laughs> ridiculous. Leaving the market here, right? Okay, here we hey, go. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. Yep, all set. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Oh, the trees in the Are back. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Oh, we do have a tree. Okay, I didn't see the tree there at first, and I was like, wait, we got a tree, right?
All right, so hopefully it didn't take too long so we can get back and uh, no one will know we were ever gone. What's out? Oh, no, that's not our house. Okay. Oh, no, wait, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, hopefully they don't use the garage. What are you doing? My God, wait till the car stops. Jesus. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. Yeah, I'm, that's good. It looks like you did too. What's her name? What? Who? <sighs> Come on, don't play me. That cutie you were talking to by the market. Oh. I mean, I guess. Yeah, that girl. I mean, she was okay. She was cool. You're too quick! Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle, especially trying to be a good dad. You're doing your best. Well, it would be nice in this scenario. Chris is awesome. And he's got a wonderful imagination. Well, thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. <laughs> he's a storyteller. I see that. Just like Daniel. When I look at you and Daniel, how close you two are, I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up. Okay, forget it. Um, mm, no worries. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? Yeah, true. That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs, too. Really? But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. Um. No, yeah, they're, they're nice so people. They're so nice, but. Yeah. They have their problems, too. Uh, sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad will <laughs> No way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Okay, clever. Like, that's decent. Just don't accidentally, like, run your kid over or something. Like, that would be terrible. No? Okay, good. Well, note still taped Hello? to the door, so it looks like we got home in time, right? Hello? Oh, yeah, looks like we made it, made it home. Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well... At least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. Oh, very cool. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Well, that's nice of him to say hey. our drawings are cool. Uh. What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's mom's. Mm, Please. Probably a bad idea. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. They won't know anything if we make it quick. Yeah, but isn't the door it's locked? Just... 
I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, uh, Sean. I guess? I don't know. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. I mean, well, of course I have to come with Fuck. you, because, you know, I'll I have come to be... With you. I have so to also be shocked so get us when we find the dead bodies inside, because that's clearly what's in there. Like any good horror movie, the locked room always has the dead bodies in it, especially at the grandparents' house. We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. Oh, uh, yeah, bad that idea. That looks super easy. <laughs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? Uh, probably their bedroom. I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's see. There's weird figures, pictures, um, a drawer. Let's look in there. Locked drawer. Of course. Why is everything Maybe locked in this house? The key to Karen's room is inside. Dude, hurry. I'm trying, Stay my here. god. Shit. Oh, these are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel. Or he'd freak. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Uh, other closet. Clothes. Old stuff. <sighs> Definitely no hidden key. Mm hmm. Okay. What do we got? You just find a way to get in room. Okay. Well, anyway, I think we're going to take the time here to. Uh, we're going to pause for a moment. We'll come back and we'll find that key uh, and go exploring the room that. Uh, at this point, I can almost always—I can almost guarantee there's some sort of hidden dark family secret, or perhaps a dead body. Anyway, uh, we'll see you next time.